Uh, this uh, week is uh, National uh, Bible Week. And uh, this coming Sunday is National uh, Bible Sunday. So uh, it might be good if uh, uh, we uh, have a reflection about uh, uh, Bible Sunday and uh, Bible Week. Um, well, the Bible Week is a reminder uh, to all of us uh, Christians um, to uh, uh, read the uh, Bible uh, and not only during Bible Week or Bible Sunday but uh, it should be a part of uh, our Christian obligation. The Bible or the uh, uh, Gospel or the Word of God uh, is uh, contained uh, and uh, the Bible is uh, the instructions of our Lord. Uh, yung mga aral niya nila sa atin yung ating pamumuhay at yung utos at yung kanyang kalooban para sa atin. So, uh, uh, how can we know where we are going if we do not uh, read the Bible and uh, to be taught uh, by the words of our Lord Jesus Christ? Kaya somebody said, yung salitang uh, Bible, uh, B-I-B-L-E. Uh, somebody said that uh, this is an <coughs> uh, the words or letters um, that uh, signifies B, sin, book, and I, instructions, book of instructions before leaving earth. So, yan po ang acronym ng Bible. Uh, so, dear brothers and sisters, uh, these are the instructions of our Lord contained in uh, the uh, scriptures. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, how do we really uh, live the Word of God? Uh, what uh, should we do? Yung ba ay nagbabasa na lang tayo at uh, yung uh, nakikinig uh, somebody said that you know father I uh, know the Bible from cover to cover eh medyo makapal din po yun kasi old and new testament pero nagyabang siya I read the Bible from cover to cover then sabi nung pare well that's very good uh, brother very if you uh, only read from cover to cover all you know is the cover. I ibig sabihin ay you just read and read but you do not uh, uh, reflect and above all that uh, you do not uh, put into practice what you read. So that is very important. So you read and not only to read uh, but also to listen. So for example, uh, if uh, you come to church, then Mass, then you read the readings, the Old Testament, St. Paul, and of course the Gospel. And then uh, uh, the second is to reflect pagnilay tungkol sa binabasa at tungkol sa what you are uh, uh, you are listening to and of course the third the important thing to do and that is the most important is the uh, uh, putting into practice uh, the word of God so hindi lamang tayo mga uh, listeners or readers of the Bible but also doers of the Word of God. So, um, 
For example, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, the teaching of our Lord to be forgiving. So if we uh, uh, read about this for the uh, homilies about forgiveness, and for example, if your married life is rather, uh, is rather difficult um, and you are on the verge of, uh, of uh, separating, then uh, when you hear about uh, forgiveness for one another, then think about what our Lord said, that uh, you must as much as possible uh, not uh, separate because whatever God had joined together, no one can put asunder. So um, uh, that is, therefore, what you have to follow. Although sometimes for some couples, it is very difficult. So forgiveness, dear brothers and sisters. You know, um, <coughs> Mother Teresa of Calcutta, when uh, she was a missionary in India, she was a school teacher. And, uh, you know, as she read about uh, the scriptures, she came across the parable of the last judgment. And she read about it. Uh, she also uh, reflected on the words of our Lord on the last judgment. I was hungry and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was in prison and sick and you visited me. Enter into the kingdom of heaven. And Mother Teresa had been reflecting on this. At sabi niya, um, Parang uh, gusto ko sana itong gagawa ng uh, pagkakawang gawa. Kasi sabi ni Lord, I enter into the kingdom of heaven if you do uh, acts of charity. And that's how she decided to work in the poorest of the poor slum areas. And uh, uh, she said, even though this work is very difficult, I am going to do this because I want to be with Jesus Christ. I want to be in heaven. You know, I've been also uh, thinking about this, my dear brothers and sisters, a personal reflection about part of my life. Um, I'm already a priest, I said. So I say mass. I uh, am uh, in media. Uh, Pero Lord, uh, sinasabi ko sa aking sarili, uh, siguro I should also uh, do something what our Lord has said to reach out to the less fortunate. And just like Mother Teresa of Calcutta, uh, well, I do help some poor people, but of course I cannot go to the slums to work. I, I, I don't think I can do that. But... Uh, at least I try to reach out to certain people who are really hard up. And these are people who have really nothing in life. And then in addition, my dear friends, um, well, I'm already a priest and 50 years already uh, SBD uh, missionary in uh, uh, our con congregation. Well, I still do something, and that is to help support needy seminarians. Yung mga seminarista na galing sa mga mahihirap na mga pamilya. Kasi hindi naman lahat yung mga seminarista ay uh, galing sa mga mayayaman na mga uh, pamilya. Pero there are some, especially today, when there is so much... Uh, financial uh, difficulty because of the pandemic. So ito, Lord, ang akin din kawang gawa na ginagawa ko. And uh, I say that uh, I hope that uh, I will also uh, join you in uh, heaven because sabi po ninyo, 
you have done these uh, good works, enter into the kingdom of heaven. So uh, I always look forward to that, really. And, well, finally, what uh, our Lord requires of us also is to do the will of God. What do I mean by this? That, you know, we have the commandments of God. Honor your father and your mother. Uh, thou shalt not uh, kill. Thou shalt not uh, uh, steal. Magnakaw. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And so on and so forth. So, uh, uh, if only we would uh, really follow the teachings of our Lord, especially His commandments, then there would be less uh, corruption in some uh, uh, offices or that we will not be poor. Uh, I mean, uh, generally uh, poor because there are uh, officials who uh, really steal from the coffers of uh, the government. Kaya po yung mga iba, ang ginagawa naman po ay uh, yung sobra naman panunuhol sa kanilang mga agencies. At um, yung mga iba ay medyo patago pa, at least sa uh, mayroong takot. Yung mga iba naman ay uh, over the table and uh, yung pinakamasahol including the table. So, uh, papano nga naman tayo <laughs> makakapag-unlad uh, uh, um, <clears throat> kung uh, marami naman ang mga, mga uh, nagnanakaw, maraming mga corrupt na mga not only politicians but government uh, employees. So, what I'm saying, my dear brothers and sisters, is that very important, therefore, is to always uh, read, to always uh, uh, re reflect on the scriptures and the word of God. Dahil dito po ay nakasalalay ang mga utos at mga uh, tinuturo ng ating Panginoon. Sabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. And then there is a spiritual uh, writer who said, knowing the will of God is the greatest knowledge. Finding the will of God is the greatest discovery. And doing the will of God is the greatest achievement. Amen.